What's up, YouTube? Back again with the Marvel Legends Infinite Series All Father Wave. I have Scarlet Witch here, which I said I would show you when I got her out and got her from the store. We have Carol Denver's Miss Marvel, which is now Captain Marvel. Both figures, one from the three pack. Target exclusive, Radioactive Man, Miss Marvel, and the third figure in that wave, and Captain America, of course. Give you a quick look at the bios again, just in case. It says the same thing on this box. This is uh, the Scarlet Witch's box, and that is Captain Marvel's box. We have Danny Rand, Danny Rand, Marvel's Iron Fist. I have the Toy Biz version and the Toy Biz version of Luke Cage. They used to be a team. I'm not sure whether they still are or not. We have the All Father. In my previous video, I showed you King Thor. I kept this arm, which is Thor's missing arm with the destroyer armor on it. Looks a little better to me. So I think I'll display it like that. Very nice. The legs and things still say the same. All Father's head. Close up on that. I have him standing here next to Loki here. So you can get a look. See how they look together. I'll bring Thor up to the front so you can take a look at him as well. His hammer is actually between, let's see if I can grab it without falling here. That's actually Thor's hammer there, but I have the lightning hammer in his hand. I'll show you why in a second. Let's see if I can bring him a little closer. Loki's cape is a little long. I'll put him on that side. And there you go. Seems to be in scale to me. I guess the old father could have been a little wider, like maybe like Thor's size probably. Would have been nice. That. Sheen Man. Elongated arms, which can be put together to make one super long arm. A uh, spare hand. We have the Toy Biz. Long hair, bearded, yellow and blue. Suit Sentry. From the Giant Man Wave, Walmart exclusive. That is the new sentry. As you can see, he dwarfs the old sentry. I have here the Marvel's Hawkeye, which is this figure here. Previous figure, which is this Hawkeye from Toy Biz. They made one from Marvel Select I don't have. And I have a movie figure back there. Which is basically an unmasked version, which probably would fit in well with the line. That's all three of them. He comes with individual arrows, as you can see, and arrows that don't move. This Hawkeye comes, doesn't come with any arrows. Makes no sense to me, but hey, that was Hasbro's decision. Look at the boxes again. It shows you my previews of each box. There's Thor. Avenging Allies, one box is Sentry, and one box is the same art, but one is Machine Man. Okay. Each individual figure will go over here to the outstanding Scarlet Witch. I heard she's short pet, so you gotta. Keep your eyes out for her if you're searching. If you're not going to go secondary markets, there's really no comparison. I made a statement earlier that you know I was satisfied. There's really no comparison between these two figures. I mean, look at that. I mean, ab crunch aside, much better looking, better sculpt. Boots extend all the way up, sexier. Folded boots there. So the hex effects 
nice size like I said Toy Biz was good for making thin figures but super articulated but as you can see if you had to choose I'm sure everybody would choose the one on the right so these are uh, and she's thin the Toy Biz version on the left there but still looks good in my opinion I mean you know the new one looks better, but I had a lot of issues with the paint around the legs. And that's the new one back there. No ab crunch again. No ab crunch on that one either, but that one does have one on the toy biz. Okay, we can slide these over. I'll take uh, Loki out here. No father over. Go throw it over with him. Get a look at Danny Rand. Daniel Ryan. Oh, that's uh, Miss Marvel's head there on the ground there. So grab what I'm knocking everybody down. Can't get it to stand up, so I have to yell up with my hands here. There you go. Little Mohawk action going on there. And there's Daniel Ryan with the classic green suit, which I'm used to in the comics back in the day. He has on some uh, mock. Uh, slipper type shoes there on well, this one he has on boots so it probably would do better kicking people but okay that goal is very nice That that's plastic that's not painted it's very nice it stands out really well with the figure and there's Luke Cage from the Toy Biz line throw her back out there machine man pretty well done obscure figure you know I don't know how they decided to put him in but he's in and uh, I had to look him up to see whether he was a good guy or a bad guy or what and he had his own line and you know he's a machine man of course he's part machine part human I think his brain or something like that get a close up on him side views he's really wobbly really 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 did not Build this figure well, at least mine. You know, I don't know if everybody else is wobbly. Nobody seems to say anything about it, but mine is really wobbly. I've had figures for 15 years that are not this wobbly. Look at that. That is Machine Man. And that arm actually has bendy wire in it. I'll give you a demonstration of that. Actually has bendy wire in it. Very nice touch. Very nice touch. So even though he's a little wobbly, he has bendy wire, so I give him a brick. Okay. That's Machine Man. I'm not going to get into the articulation. Everybody should know by now. And if you don't, the majority of these figures, the Hasbro lines, are 30 plus points of articulation. Hands, wrists, double jointed elbows, single jointed elbows, I mean shoulders, waist swivel pivots I mean on the feet things like that sometimes some are added some are deducted it depends on the figure but for the most part it's 30 plus points of articulation even on the builder figures which is a very nice touch next figure we're going to look at is the old toy biz long hair bearded sentry compared to the new massive Hyperion mold new sentry get a back shot if I can here I'm standing back to back close as I can get them without knocking one over I mean there's no comparison I mean the, the girth the weight alone the suits better I mean, they, like I said, Toy Biz was pretty much perfection. So, to build on perfection, you can always do a little better because there's always something that Toy Biz missed. So, they did a really good job. I mean, some people complain about the face, but it doesn't really bother me. I, I believe that's the way you should look. A little menacing. So, looks really strong in comparison. Next, let's take a look at the Sentry back. Stands really well as well. 
It's hard to get figures to stand these days without doing a lot of posing. Let's take a look at Hawkeye compared to Toy Biz Hawkeye. Right next to each other there. He has his little spread a little bit here. So it's a little bigger. His bow, I couldn't find it. There's a lot of parts and pieces down there. I had to go through literally thousands of pieces and things. So I had, I couldn't. I just brought them up so you can take a look at them. The classic Hawkeye look on both versions. More brown in that version, more purple in this one, the new one. The new one, once again, is excellent. Has the arm and arm. Very nice. But the previous was also a great figure. As you can see, it has individual arrows, which I'll have to let Hawkeye buy, borrow one. And we have movie. Unmasked version. Fits into the line perfectly. That's why I use them. Seems to be about the same mold, different boots, chest, everything seems to be the same except for, of course, the arm and arm. Okay, so for uh, okay. Get all father here. Just take a look at him really quick. Well, the father actually has the ability to look up just a little bit more than King Thor did. I didn't go over that in my last video, but he, as you can see, his head moves up just a, just a tad bit. Kept the sword in his hand as well. I'm sure that would be for King Thor more than the old father Odin. There's a staff. Same thing, just a different cape and a different head. So, really nothing really different to see. Just a nice look on how he would look with... Some other figures I have up. Wanted to bring them out. Inspector. We'll go with store here, Hasbro line. Basically the same figure as the figure behind you. Accessories and everything are the same, except for the chainmail arms. Good comparison there. Different shaded red from the cape behind you, behind him. Different wings. And we have the San Diego Comic Con. I'll him back a little bit. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Came with a hammer, box, poster. Nice lightning effects. On a hammer which is back there that I have the new Thor holding. New Thor's hammer is right here. Has a metallic build. Same design. It's in there. <sighs> Give you a look with them next to Ares. Something like the Aries. Right to the side there, get Aries helmet up just right. There you go. There you go there. Okay. Old school Thor. Toy Biz. Let me stand up. Phone. There you go. Same in comparison, height comparison then. Just about the same size. Classic Thor. His hammer. Same design as the others, oddly enough. Just this one has the metallic paint, which is a nice touch. Okay. One of my favorite characters. See if they just stand. I don't think he'll stand. Unless I get his cape just right. There you go, there's Beta. Put him in front of Thor there. Maybe he'll stand up if I lean him up against Thor. Thor stands pretty well. There you go. There he is in front of Thor. Top here. And here he 
is next to Odin. Stand if I made them on there. There you go. This is a Marvel Select figure, so it's pretty big. And you can see all of is just a tad. Well, actually, same size. Seven inch figure. Get him back here with the new door. Right in front, so you can see. Pull it out so you can see something right in front of him. There you go. Comparison with. The destroyer armor, which should be a lot bigger in my perception, but that's what we have, so that's all we have. That's the toy big toy biz figure as well. We'll get him next to the Asgardian. Asgardian is a really little figure, it's supposed to be a young Avenger. Toy Biz line came with four figures Iron Lad, Hawkling. And Asgardian. Let's see if we can get him back here with Thor. Alright, really see he dwarfs, huh? Okay. This Thor here, I believe, is the Fing Fang Foom Wave. Fing Fang Foom Wave. Doesn't want to stand. He has a more stone hammer. Let's compare it with the one below. Uh, looking, I don't know what comic he's supposed to be from, but that's how he looks. He won't stand, so. We have here Valkyrie from a Toys R Us 2 pack with the Hulk. She comes with a sheath for her sword and a cape, which I do not have on her. Like I said, the accessories are buried, so. That's how she looks at Odin. And this is how she looks in comparison to New Thor. Okay. And we have Frostite. In comparison to Ken to Odin there, the old father. And bring Thor up here. And comparison with Thor. Okay. I'm going to look at him with Loki. All right, that's it for my quick review and comparison of the Marvel Infinite series, All Father Wave. If you want to see more, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If anything I missed or you know something I didn't know you would like to enlighten me on, I'd be more than happy to hear it in the comments. I'll respond if you ask me a question, if I can. Like I said, I do it for the love. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.